Good morning, you guys. Today is Vlogtober, day five. It is gorgeous outside. I think it was around 50 degrees early this morning. It is currently almost 11. Uh, we already ate breakfast. Taylor made a really yummy um, breakfast with cash browns, eggs, toast. So that was really good. And I already had coffee this morning. Taylor took the boys to the commissary to pick up a couple of things that he needed. And I also needed a couple more things for Noel's <laughs> homeschool, so they're getting that too. Uh, we did do some homeschool already this morning. We um, did our homeschool books, we did flashcards, and we did our counting skills and fine motor skills. Um, a couple other things we're still gonna do. We're gonna do like an egg roll, hard boil some eggs and dye them because we read uh, Ranchenka's Eggs by Patricia Polacco and it talks a little about dyeing eggs and stuff. So that's part of the activity, the art skills that we're gonna do today. I think I'm gonna do that after nap time because I'm gonna probably do decluttering while they sleep, but I do want to go declutter Field's room, the closet, before they get back and get that done so he can go down for a nap. And I do need to tidy the kitchen, the living room. They played a lot this morning. Ivy is down for a nap. I nursed her, put her down for a nap. And so she's asleep. Hopefully she'll get a really good nap in. I probably need to unload the dishwasher, tidy up. But first, let's go declutter Field's closet real quick because I really want to get that done before they get back. Okay, I got a diaper box. So I'm going to go upstairs into Field's room and start decluttering that closet. All right, so Field's room, got the diaper box. And I already know what I want to get down is in this basket, as well as the Daka Tot I'm gonna donate. With Ivy, I decided to try the Snuggle Me, and I love it way more than the Daka Tot because it's more snuggly. <laughs> That's really truly what it is. The Daka Tot, honestly, is a pain to take apart and wash, whereas the Snuggle Me is so easy. Here is a basket of stuff. This is mainly decor that I own and decor that was in this room when it was Ivy's nursery. And I really truly don't know if I'm going to go with this style when we move. I really don't. I, I'm i in a mindset right now of just simplicity. I really do love some of these picture frames, so I probably will keep the majority of them, but some of the stuff in here I, I know for sure I don't want anymore just because it's not super practical and that's just the mindset I'm in right now. So let me show you what I have right now. Okay, so these picture frames my mom gave me, I really do love silver right now. So I'm gonna keep those. I need to get some pictures printed. This is breaking. So we're going to put that in here. This I put up here because I was constantly cleaning it up. So we're gonna donate that. <laughs> this is a messed up little hanger. So that's gonna go. This, I thought Ivy could wear it, but it has a bunch of holes in it. It's really cute if you wanted to hang it up, but I just am gonna donate it. Okay, so I've got a couple different things in here. I have this wooden peg rack, uh, but the thing is you can find these at thrift stores all the time for super cheap. And I really am not using this right now. And I don't even know if I'm gonna use it in the future, but if I ever did want something like this, I know where to find it. I just am not in the season of storing it until I want to use it. That's not typically my personality. Um, so I'm going to donate that. This I loved for her bows. I thought it was so cute. The thing is it was hanging on the wall and the boys would always come in here and pull all the bows off and it's missing the little things right here. Also, I keep her bows in a basket downstairs in our kitchen cabinets, and that is so easy and functional for me. Uh, so this is not, this would be like more decor if I wanted to showcase her bows. And you know, maybe in the future when she has her own room, I'll do something like that. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to donate this. Okay, so these are all the picture frames I had 
hanging up in her nursery. And then this basket is going to get donated. I'm gonna fix that when I get some downstairs, but so this is all the stuff that is leaving this room. I'm gonna look through these books real quick. I think he looks at all of these, to be honest. Um, yeah, we love books. This is something that I have a harder time getting rid of because we love them so much, but okay. So everything in here that's going is this and this. The stuff back here is just our hangout bag for traveling and this is a board game. And then this most likely will get donated. Um, it's when Taylor went to BMT, they gave him this. It's just a big green bag, but he has never used it since. <laughs> He's just held onto it because sometimes they have to like put together a sack as if they were like deploying. I don't even know how that works, but okay. So what's in here is the snuggle me, the picture frames I wanna keep a lamp back there and then the clothing bin is right there and then our keepsake bin. So that's all that's in here. Pretty satisfied with the stuff that's leaving this closet. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. And I'm gonna take this stuff downstairs. Okay, I'm in Noble's room. There's truly nothing in here to get rid of. Just has his bed, the guest mattress, and then the closet is empty. I think you guys saw that yesterday. But there's literally nothing in here so i don't have to worry about this room because it's empty but i do want to go through our um, guest bathroom this is where the boys take baths and we have this linen closet right here so let me show you real quick what it looks like in here you guys have probably already seen it because i've decluttered in here in the past okay so this is the bathroom the only things that we have like in here our toothbrushes, soap. This bathroom isn't like super clean, you guys, so don't judge. <laughs> I'm just decluttering today. So this is the medicine cabinet. Um, there's really not much in here. Oh, I do want to get rid of this. I'm not using this anymore. It was like a cradle crap cap brush I found for Ivy. But honestly, I just, it doesn't really work that well. <laughs> and then down here, I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, so I just have towels and washcloths down here. So nothing really in there. Um, shower stuff. So this is, we have a trash can in here. This is paint stuff that I've been using for painting. So I've just been storing it there. So that's really nothing. Got Taylor's toiletries, some random other toiletries and kids soap. Um, this is just stuff that goes to the house, light bulbs. So I don't think there's anything there. And Taylor actually just decluttered this. It's like his military coins, pocket knives, random things of his. Okay, so up here, I just have some blankets, some baby blankets, an extra set of sheets. Um, these are curtains that were in Ivy's room that I made. And then this is just an extra blanket for her. This, I think I'm going to get rid of. As much as I love it, it doesn't fit the current mattress that Ivy has very well. It's actually from Pottery Barn. This was in Fields Room. And it's stained up in certain places. Um, as cute as it is, I don't use it because it doesn't fit that mattress. And I'm not gonna buy a new mattress for that crib. So I'm gonna donate this. And uh, yeah, so that looks really good. Okay, so two things from this bathroom and everything else looks pretty good. So we're done in here. I'm gonna put this over here and there. Okay guys, I just pulled their quilts out of the dryer. They did not get fully dried last night before the kids went to bed. So I had to put different quilts on them. So I'm gonna go switch these out, make their beds really nice for them. And I think come back and tidy the kitchen and then we'll declutter in the kitchen. Cause I'd be sleeping and then I'll declutter our room when she wakes up. It's all made. I already uh, put the clothes in the dryer, put a new load in. I think that's all the laundry that needs to be done. And then I'm completely caught up. So that's nice. Ivy is still sleeping, which is wonderful. I think she's been asleep for 30 minutes or so. I'm going to get some water and clean up the kitchen so this is done.
I am in our room right now. I'm gonna show you real quick kind of what it looks like. It's really simple, you guys. Um, it's really simple. <laughs> but there's a couple things in here I know for sure that I'm not really wanting anymore. And that is the picture above our bed. I'm not super crazy about it anymore. I've had it for several years. I think two or three years I've had it. <clears throat> and I just, I'm not crazy about it anymore. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. And there's a couple things in my drawers. But there's really, truly not a lot up here. I'm being brutally honest, you guys. We don't own a lot of stuff. I think the majority of our stuff is probably in our kitchen. Let me show you the room. Okay, so you walk in, bathroom, closet. You guys know what our room looks like, but if you're new here, this is our bedroom. This is the co-sleeper that my father-in-law built and I'm gonna put it in the garage and we are gonna keep it. And it's probably just gonna be like a family heirloom now because I would like to be able to give it to Ivy if she ever wanted it. So that's gonna go in her garage because she no longer sleeps next to me. But this is the picture I'm talking about. I'm not crazy about it. So I'm gonna donate that. And typically we do have a white bedspread on here, but for now it's this one. Um, this is where I nurse Ivy in the middle of the night. This side of the dresser is Taylor's and this side is mine. I'm not gonna open this door. This is my undergarments. No one needs to see that. This is just a random drawer I have in here. I've got my Bible. I have this in here. I did this for a while after I deleted social media because it was like the detox process of it was, I just felt my, found myself being bored a lot. So I'm gonna get rid of that, I don't really need that. And then uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this because Ivy doesn't really take a binky. This is an extra battery to my basal thermometer. And these are just chargers for my camera batteries. So that's all that's in there. Okay, so in here, I think, I well, I typically keep these sweaters and then that striped sweater I wore the other day, the Talbot's one. I keep this black one and that one in here folded. So right now the other one's in the wash, but this shirt, I think I'm gonna donate it because it's like really, um, it's very slim, like it's like skin tight. My husband loves it, but <laughs> I never wear this shirt because it's so skin tight. <laughs> So I'm gonna donate that. And then these, I love the print of, but uh, the top, these are pajamas. They're just shorts and a top. The top is very tight on my ladies and it won't button. So <laughs> we're just gonna get rid of this. Okay, so then I just have an extra pair of pajamas in there. And I think my other pajamas are in the wash. Okay, down here is summer stuff that I don't wear right now. So this is out of season. So I have a pair of shorts. I have, let's see, three skirts. These are two of the same type of skirt. And then this is just a gap skirt. And then I've got two tank tops. So I'm gonna keep that in there. And then these are Ivy's shoes. She's got such tiny feet, you guys. It's not even funny. So like these are zero, no, these are three to six and she's seven months old. Well, a couple days from being seven months old and these are still big for her. So I've just, these are the only shoes that I have up here. She's got a couple downstairs that I have for her. So I think I'm just gonna keep all of the shoes that I have in here for her and <laughs> eventually they're gonna fit her. But yeah, so I'm just gonna leave those there. Okay, so the only things out of my dresser are these things that are going room. Okay, so this is typically where I get ready and I need to clean the mirror, so just ignore that. But, okay, so the medicine cabinet, this is what I've got in here. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I really, truly don't use a face wash. I just wash my face with like a warm washcloth. And that has truly always worked for me, so I never use this. And then, Gonna keep all that stuff because I use that. I think these I'm going to get rid of because I never wear these. I really am starting to switch over to just um, sterling silver and silver silver jewelry. I do like these, but I would like to try and find a silver pair. This is like stained, you guys, so just ignore that. I don't know why I have that, so I, that can go of what I want out of there. And down here, I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do need to go through my makeup bag. So I just have extra shaving cream, uh, 
a ton of toothpaste and just my hair tools. And that's just needs to be wiped out, so just ignore that. <laughs> but that's pretty much all that's in there. Okay, so let's go through my yoga bag. Okay, so this is everything that I actually do use right here. So I've got just a face powder, a concealer, a chapstick, blush, and bronzer, and then eyeshadow, brows, mascara. This is my absolute favorite right now. It's a tinted moisturizer. It's really pricey, but I love this. I just use that now instead of foundation, and then the tools I use. So all of that is what I use, and everything in here I don't use. So that's what I'm gonna get rid of. So I'm just gonna take everything out. I'm gonna have to throw some products away. I don't use this anymore. I used to use this uh, for my eyeshadow, but I just use my finger now and it works way better. I just ignore my chippy nails. I need to touch that up. Oh, I do use this tool, so I need to put that over here. I bought this from Ulta and this is not my color. This is like way too pink. And then I have this bronzer. It's way too orange for me. And this is like way too pink. I'm definitely more of a natural makeup girl now. I just like the natural look. So I'm going to put all my makeup back in here. It's like there's so much room in here, but okay. That makes me feel good. So all of this is going to go. So I'm going to go put that with the other stuff. Okay. Wow. I didn't even know I had all that stuff, but that is a good feeling. Okay. So now let's go into the closet. This is actually where Ivy sleeps, right there. <laughs> so this is just the Ikea crib and that's where she sleeps. Fits perfectly, okay. So a lot of this is Taylor's work uniforms and his shoes. So I hardly have anything in here. I do have this bag, but I do wanna keep that because I love this bag. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, a lot of these are his shoes, but I do have like these three things right here are mine. This is a new flora dress that I love for spring. So I'm gonna keep that. And then this shirt, I actually tried it on the other day and it was like way too tight in my shoulders. I have really broad shoulders. So I'm, that's a bummer because I really liked this shirt. It's from Jules and it's just, it's too small. So that's gonna go. And then I have this, you guys. I'm like, I've been debating because I've had this since Noble was born. I remember thrifting this whenever he was a baby and I wore it all the time. It was my favorite. But as you can tell, it's already worn out, but it's very vintage. Like this is a really old Gap and Gap is like my favorite, but it's like worn out. I still do wear it around the house. Like it's like really raggedy. I think I'm going to keep it for now because it's, I'm not ready to part with it. It just brings back too many memories. And I've worn it with every baby. I think it started wearing out after Ivy was born. So I may just have to put it in my keepsake bin <laughs> because I just love it so much. I need to find another one. Usually when I go to thrift stores, um, I forget to look for these because I want to find another one. It's just a denim shirt and I never button it. I just use it like a jacket, but I need to look for another one because it's my favorite. Okay, anyway, so I also have two pairs of shoes up here. These are my Ad Adeliza & Co. boots and flats. These are the kids' keepsake bins. They each have one. It has, like, hospital stuff in it. These shoes I'm going to donate. I bought these off of Poshmark. Uh, they're jewels. And they're way too colorful for me, you guys. It's not even funny. I have never worn them. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them, but I don't like them. Okay, this is just Taylor stuff and my camera bag. So... I'm gonna get this down and donate that. All right, those two things are going. Such a beautiful top. And this box, you guys, let me show you these shoes. I tried selling them on Poshmark, but they would not sell, so they're branding, but yeah, they're way too colorful. <laughs> and I don't like the style of how they look on me. They just look too bulky. So anyway, all right, that is a great, great start. Oh, I need to get that picture. It's probably really dusty, but it's fine. Okay, wow, I'm amazed. That's like a lot of stuff from this room. Okay, that's great, it makes me happy. Lots of good things going that I don't use or wear. Taylor just went outside, he's gonna start working on his truck. Um, he just, he's got the tools out, so Noble. Didn't really wanna nap today. I 
think there was someone that commented, how do I get all my kids to nap and go to bed at seven? <laughs> and I think I said something like my three and a half year old is starting not to want to take naps. And that's the case today. Usually he did quiet time for about an hour, but now he's up, so. Ivy's awake too. We're in the kitchen now, so let's go ahead and declutter this room. <laughs> Nova is watching Taylor work on the truck over there. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. Let's start. Okay, so this cabinet is kind of like, yeah where we keep things that kids can't really get into. It's back here. This right here is stuff Taylor wanted to take to like a pawn shop. So that's just up there. And then these are the boys' Nerf bullets that we keep up here. And then Taylor's creatine. So that's what's up on that shelf. This shelf is my breast pump and breast pump parts. I never use breast pumps, <laughs> to be honest, unless I have like mastitis or something. But um, yeah, so I have that. Honestly, I would love to get rid of it, but you never know when you need one, right? So this down here is, this is my hydro flask. There's a sippy cup back there for Ivy that's pink. This is where we keep coins. And then these two are Taylor and I's coffee to go cups. This needs to go in my camera bag. Um, and then just some glass Tupperware. The rectangle goes here, circle ones go here. So there's nothing really in there. This cabinet, okay, so this is where all of our dishes are, like bowls and cups and stuff. There's a couple things in the dishwasher, like all of our plates are in the dishwasher and a couple other mugs. Uh, these are our jars. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these because I'm the only one that used these and I only need one. These are smoothie cups. And I need to get a straw for that, but it was a pack of two and I just needed one. So I just have one over there. So I'm gonna keep that one. And this is where we keep our butter. We use these two things, the Pyrex. Yeah, that is a seed. And then up here, I need to go through these because I only reach for one right now and I don't need all these, so let's go through these. I don't like this color because it's like really yellow and real life it's yellow on camera it looks really light so okay so i think i'll just keep those two this goes to my espresso machine i never use this but if there's an ever family of friends that wanted an actual latte i have that so so that's pretty good these two things this is our spice drawer. It's kind of a mess, but I just went through this the other day and there's nothing really in here that I need to get rid of. And then down here, this cabinet is by far the one I dislike the most because it has stuff in here I don't use. <laughs> it has this that we were given and I really, um, I don't know, I need to talk to Taylor to see if he wants to give it back to them because we never use this. This just sits on our shelf, so. We may end up giving that back. And we have my crock pot, the Instapot. Uh, I don't use, my sister gave it to me because she didn't use it. And I don't know, I need to talk to Taylor about it because he's the one that used it, so I don't really know. And then these are just cutting boards and bowls and stuff that we use. So, yeah, for now. You know what, I think I'm just gonna take this out of the cabinet and put it in a box because I don't use it. I just took that out. That way I have way more space in here to use. That way I can switch these bowls wherever I want. I think the, I have this bowl, but I never use this one. I really prefer the clean glass Pyrex. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because this one's getting old and chipped. So these are plastic. We use these for ice cream. And then I'm gonna put this there. Okay, that works. That's a little bit better. And just ignore I need to clean cabinets. <laughs> okay, so I talked to Taylor. He said that we can definitely give this back because he doesn't use it at all either. So we're going to give that back, these two bowls. And I think this is the one I'm going to, I'm going to donate this for sure because I was just thinking about that. I just want to keep two. 
So that's gonna be there. Okay, so there's that. I am gonna talk to him about the Instapot because I don't use it and I do not see myself using it. It's not my cup of tea. I know everyone's like, you have to try it. I don't wanna try it, you guys. <laughs> okay, this is Taylor's girl stuff. Okay, Ivy is in the high chair with some measuring spoons. Okay, back to this. Okay, so we have personal documents up there. This is Ivy's basket of bows, which I recently just went through, and these all match the outfits for her fall capsule. So those are perfect. I keep just some, a little bit of food right there that I use on a daily basis. And this is medicine box. This is kind of a catch-all box supplements, vitamins, so I think we'll go through this first. Here is everything that was in here. This is a infant probiotic I bought for Ivy. This is typically what we use for the boys colds and stuff. So I have two extra bottles I bought because this stuff is great. This is when my son cut his forehead open and had to get stitches. <laughs> Let's see, uh, it's just some ibuprofen. This is my husband's. Okay. I have this on hand for ever a case of mastitis. This is the best. Okay, so this stuff right here, this is something I like to use for the kids' colds. Um, I have teething oil. I never reach for this. This is a brand new bottle. I think I'll keep the brand new bottle and throw out this one I've had since field. So yeah, that needs to go. This is actually empty. And then Ivy doesn't take binkies anymore, so that's gonna go. This is pretty much empty because I have this one. This one I'm gonna get rid of because I never use this. And I also have another diaper rash cream upstairs that we use now. So I'll keep this one just as a backup. This Mommy, is chest rub. And then I have all of these. Okay, so we have thieves in here. Okay, so those are in there. This goes to the nose, Frida, which I'm just gonna pop right there. I've got some thermometers. So these I have for the kids. This one is not my favorite because it's never accurate. I hate these so much because they're not accurate. These are accurate. So I'm gonna keep these and that's gonna go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's decluttered. This is my other camera that I just keep up there. Got these things. This I'm going to throw out. It's like almost gone, but I really don't like the flavor. I've just been trying to use it up. This one's not my favorite, so I just have this in here for smoothies. This is for kids when they help me clean. They have a little spray bottle. Okay, this like right on top of there, and that's just gonna be where I keep products like that. Okay, so this is where Taylor is. Keys. This I'm going, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have one in my hair that's tortoise shell and so I don't really need to. That's gonna go. Now let's see what's in here. This is pretty much a mess. <laughs> uh, got chargers, headphones. Uh, this right here I'm gonna throw away because it broke. It won't go back together. So that's trash. The extra chargers in here. It's the bobby pin. I need to take that upstairs. Um, that's Taylor's sports tape. This needs to go in the garage. Okay, so this is actually trash. I've got finger clippers. The boys' coins from the zoo. Oh, I need to put these upstairs. This goes to my tripod, so I'm definitely gonna keep that there. So the work mask for Taylor. The receipt. Okay. These. Okay, that's could be organized better, but for now that's what it's gonna be like. Okay. So that's pretty good. Pretty content with that. Okay, so this is what's decluttered. Um, I need to put these back upstairs a lot of this stuff is just trash but yeah okay so there's that all right you guys that pile is looking good okay so down here this is the homeschool cabinet i'll do that another day this right here is under the sink and this is where taylor stores his lunchbox for work i have my iron 
This right here I need to throw away. Something I was hiding from the boys. They put a bunch of rocks in here and it's been driving me crazy, so I'll put that back there. Okay, trash bags. I've got the goo gone back there and then this is to clean the carpets for when we move. Down here I have dish soap. This goes to the sink, some spray. This right here, I don't use, so that's gonna go. Um, this was a homeschool thing, so I'm just gonna have the boys dump this out over the fence for the bird batteries and stuff, and that goes to the grill, so really truly not a ton in here. Okay, so under here, right below this drawer, I have my mixer or my blender, and then I have my KitchenAid down here with like spare parts, and that's all that's down here. And then this one, I've got my cake plate, my Dutch oven, my rolling pan. We have two muffin pans, one cooling rack, and two cookie sheets. One loaf pan, pie plate, two, I think these are eight inch rounds, two six inch rounds, and then my pots, and then my pitcher back there. So there's nothing really in here I want to get rid of. So we use all of that. In this drawer, I just keep typical stuff like explanatory. This drawer, have our silverware. This is usually in there. I do want to get rid of this because it goes with that. We've got two measuring cups. Ivy's being really loud. Okay, this goes to my hydro flask, so I need to put that in there. I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, this. It's just stuff to like our Berkey, the espresso machine, um, just some dropper things. Okay, so I'm not gonna, these make great organizers, guys. <laughs> that's all that's gonna be in there. Okay, so in here, there's really nothing to get rid of because everything in here we use. Trash can, this is our, kind of our pantry. I do need to organize this, you guys. This is our deep freeze. That's where we keep Ivy's car seat. And then clothes and stuff. This is the majority of clothes that I have. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, I do want to get rid of this shirt. This shirt is terrible. I love some Old Navy clothes, but some just don't last. And this one just does not look good. So that's going to go. Everything else in here looks pretty good. And that's the kids' stuff. Um, oops, I do need to pack these away. So I'm gonna take these down. And then I did just declutter the bins with you guys, so that's that. And then in this bathroom, this is just all of our diapers, toilet paper, and wipes. So we use all of this stuff. It's just their hair gel. So that's all that's in here. Here's most of the stuff that we found. I need to put those pliers away, but most of the stuff is either trash or donating. Taylor is out front working on his truck. Beal okay, just woke up, so he's awake and we have a cartoon on and I had to put a pause on decluttering. The only place left I have to declutter is the living room, which is really not much to declutter in here because it's mainly just kids toys and books. I don't have any books I want to get rid of and their toys are already so minimal that I don't really have anything that I want to declutter. I also need to go through this closet. I don't think there's anything in there to get rid of, uh, but that's like our coats and shoes and stuff. So I'll look through there in just a minute and see. I think, it, I think we did good. It's a pretty big haul, you guys. Pretty big haul of stuff that I'll show you. Taylor does have a meeting tonight around 5.45. So I'm gonna try and get dinner cooked earlier so then he can eat and then go do that. Oh yeah. She's watching him outside the window. And then he's gonna go to the meeting and then I'll do bedtime with the kids. I need to switch over the laundry later. It's getting loud. It's really hard to film with little kids around. Uh, yeah, so for dinner, I think I'm gonna do like this sausage tortellini soup. And I think I already, I already have the meat and stuff thawed for that, so. I think it's gonna be a pretty quick process to make it. 
I'm gonna quickly look over the recipe real quick to make sure there's not any other prep I need to do. And I think that's about it. So that's what our day is looking like. Taylor got the truck to start. Oh my gosh, it started like automatically. This truck has been having so many problems and it works. It's great. We are sitting down eating our dinner. I'm helping Field eat his soups. I really have to help him because he's still too. <laughs> but the boys love it. Taylor loved it. He said it's a keeper. I will leave this recipe linked down below. I love trying new recipes for soups and stuff at all time. This is an amazing recipe. It's from Pinterest, so I'll link it. And it does have a kick to it. So if your kids don't like spicy stuff, I wouldn't. Um, every single thing they mentioned about spice. I did, because my kids aren't typically picky about that, but it is really, really good. Next time I'm gonna add double the amount of tortellini, because the amount of like liquid that's in this, I could have added more. So I think next time I'll do that. That way I'll have more left over. I think there's just maybe a couple pieces of tortellini left. So I think I'm gonna save this juice and everything in the pot for tomorrow, and then I'll add in like some bow tie noodles or something, because that's what I have on hand. And just use it up because I don't really want to waste all the broth and stuff that's in it because it's so flavorful but it's really really good so I'm gonna probably feed Ivy some baby food in just a minute once I get done she just woke up from her second nap of the day and uh, she didn't take a really good nap at all today so bedtime will be easy for her and uh, Taylor is taking a shower getting ready to go to his meeting and thankfully the kids have not much to do because while I was cooking cleaning up so I really don't have to worry about with that. So I'm gonna finish helping them eat and I'll put you guys back up later. Any more spots field? bedtime for all the kids. Taylor is home and he's putting Noble to bed. Field's already in bed, Ivy's in bed, and I just boiled some eggs because Noble's homeschool stuff called for boiled eggs. We're going to do, uh, we're gonna color them tomorrow. Because the book we read today kind of talks about colorful eggs and stuff so it's part of one of the art activities so we're going to finish up Monday's um, stuff tomorrow and then Tuesday all the stuff on here is really doable and easy for me that I can incorporate all throughout the day so we're gonna do finish out Monday and then we're gonna do Tuesday tomorrow that's the plan for his homeschool stuff I've got it just over here but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog tour, this whole house declutter. I didn't get to every single space, um, like that closet I showed you and their toys. I don't really have to declutter, but for the most part, that's every space in our house that we keep things. I mean, we have a garage, but it's mainly workout equipment and uh, like food storage and stuff. So that's pretty much it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this like simple whole house declutter with me. I have a little bit, bit of a different vlog kind of been a crazy day. <laughs> I'm glad Taylor got his truck fixed and I'm glad that got the house decluttered and um, he got he went to his meeting. Um, it's a meeting for when we leave the military so all the things are falling into place nicely so that's good. Um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for vlogtober day six. 
thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new here hillary sent over a ton of people welcome to my channel i'm so glad to have you guys um but yeah anyway i will see you guys tomorrow bye